And people think when they look at big trees, they get haps and happy and excited. But when a real experienced farmer looks at a farm, they look at young trees. Young. Why? It's all gated. Don't forget how much gates cost. We went there recently to find out all of these gates cost a lot of money. So anyway, then you got the water system. It's got the irrigation system. It's got the pipes. You can see the pipes. The pipes. Yeah. There's the pipes there. Let's go. You can see the pipes there. You can see the pipes over there as well. So now it's basically all the walnuts have been stripped. There's nothing left now. And young trees mean that in the next 190 years they're going to continue to give you walnuts. So for example, if there's a farm which has old trees which are really massive and really big and they look like really, it's got the irrigation system everywhere. So just like that, if it has uh, if they're big, people get excited and think, oh, they look so beautiful and it's giving us so much walnuts. But what they don't understand is that the investment, the money, is going gonna, is gonna to finish when the trees are old because they're going to die. And then you have to pay money to take the trees out, put new ones in, and they have to wait another nine years before they start giving you walnuts. So right now, obviously the walnuts were taken out in October or September. So these are young trees. Young trees have their whole life ahead of them. So the land is all up to here. There's a toilet there. And it goes all the way back. This time I'm gonna make a video going all the way back. The last time I didn't do that. Got the irrigation system continuing all across. Yeah, this, I mean, the land has not been taken care of. That's for sure. That's why this year uh, we didn't maintain it, but this is the first year I've, I've got it. So we're going to start planting, planting on it, inshallah. But you see, all these things cost money, you know, this fence alone costs money. You can see all the irrigation, all the pipes. Got the planting of that. The pipes inside. And the most amazing thing about this land is that it's about two kilometers to the city. Yeah, one and a half miles to Dinar City. You can check it on the map. It's an actual city. Got the main road there. I think if we would have walked it even from the main road, it was probably Actually, the car comes anyway, you don't have to worry. I want to see it from the top this time. 10,350 meters squared. All fenced up. Here's the water system. I think it's like some sort of pump or something. The guys who look after they look they look after the locals look after it for us. I don't know nothing how they do it, what they do it. Here's the system. The land goes like this, goes like that, and then straight all the way I showed you in the beginning where we entered, and it goes all the way up to here. Fence up to here. And this is the farm, walnuts farm. And the quoted amount of money that this can make is the last time I checked was 500 and I think 20,000 lira, which we calculated around 12,000 uh, pounds per year, according to walnuts. So remember, walnut prices keep going up with inflation. That's amazing why farming is, a, is the best investment. This is what these people like Bill Gates and them lot are doing. That's where you make most of the money because as prices of food go up, you're making more money. Do you understand? So you're fighting against inflation. So you don't have any chance of basically a crash, property crash or something else crash. And as I said, because it's right next to the city, that's the main expense of a farm. 
to transport your goods to sell it in the city. So that's why this land is so expensive and so valuable. Not to mention, of course, it's got the wall system and the fence and whatnot. So another thing you got to understand is we had a lot of complications buying far this farmland. It literally got delayed by three months. And in that time, I could have saved £10,000 in purchasing this, this farmland. And the previous owner lost a lot of money because of this. So unfortunately, that, that's what happened. And um, yeah, this is right now November. And we're wearing a t-shirt. It's pretty hot. Um, about mid-November now. So this place is not that cold, which is really, really nice. Uh, the weather's quite decent. So we're in mid-November now, it's about probably 20, 20 degrees, 25 degrees. And um, so that's the amazing thing about this. And the most amazing thing about this farm as well, not apart from the distance to the, to the city, is that it's um, the land registry, we've changed it. So now a foreigner can buy this. So we spent a lot of money, a lot of time making it up. Uh, so now a foreigner can buy it straight away we don't have an issue because we changed the land registry from a farm to a garden of course it's, it's nowhere near classified as a garden because it's too massive to be a garden but yeah that's what we've done to try and uh, to help if anyone wanted to a uh, foreigner wanted to buy it this is one of the rare farms that you can buy otherwise majority farms you cannot buy and there's so many complications and you lose a lot of money you spend a lot of money so that's the amazing thing about this farm and the other thing is that you can also build a house here so you can buy a you can make a prefab house uh, have solar panels for your electric and you can have uh, a water tank of course there's water anyway but if you don't want to use that water and you want to use uh, a, like good water or whatever then you can also get a water tank and then the person will deliver it from the from the city which is very cheap and that can happen as well so you don't have to just order water once a month or something but they got the irrigation system for the water for the for the farm itself so that's not an issue because you've got farms right here next door you can see the main road there another thing uh, someone asked me about walnuts so the reason they keep a big gap between the walnuts is because the walnuts grow very high and they're very wide so once they grow more bigger, they're going to need more space, otherwise the sun won't be able to hit them. So by when they did plant it, they have to make a project according to the agricultural office. So this is registered as of in the agricultural office. Each tree is registered, you know, and the tree is planted, then you have to, uh, they have to accept it. Uh, so when they planted it, they have to have a certain distance from each tree. You know, that's the reason why you see distances between the trees because they're going to become really wide and you see the gate at the end and if you look very closely you can see new building apartments there in the city and here comes the man of the hour the farmer who's going to look after my walnuts